So unfortunately, there are many ways children's right to identity are being contravened in alternative care settings. Um, one of the principal ways is the possible falsification of their birth identity. It could be that they are given new birth uh, registration certificates where information is totally falsified, or it could just be that when they're taken into care, the care providers decide to change their names. Um, it could be total lack of information, only partial information that they're given, and this might be legal changes to documentation or just illegally administrative uh, ways of changing children's documents. There is also then the case of children not knowing about their background, particularly if they've come into care at a very young age and they've remained in care for many, many years. It could be that they do not have any contact at all with their birth families and their communities and their friends once they're in care. And we know that many children remain in care for many, many years. This can result in forced adoption, illegal adoption, where again their legal status may be totally changed and their identity along with it. But it could mean long term um, remaining in care, particularly in another family based care setting. Again, where there may be um, semi legal or semi illegal changes to their identity and they may be uh, forced to take on the identity of being part of that family rather than still belonging to their birth family or knowing about their background. It could also be that children are denied access to their family. Uh, we know that residential settings, for instance, can be placed in very remote areas of a country where children can no longer actually have any physical contact with their family, but they may also be denied other ways of contact or remaining in contact, maybe through telephone or other ways. Um, and again, this will totally result in the end of loss of children understanding who they were and where they came from. This is also very important to consider how their rights are violated when they get to the age where they may be um, legally having to leave care and that they again have to go out into the world not really knowing who they were where what their background was and also not having a family to return to. Um, so I think those are some of the ways but also we have to realise that there are children whose right to protection are violated within alternative care and we know that adverse childhood experiences can really result in loss of self-worth and in that way self-identity. Um, and that they can really impact on their well-being and their developmental outcomes and the rest of their life not really having a feeling of being whole, of, of, of knowing exactly who they are and what they should be. Um, and this is, there, so these are just some of the ways in which I think a child's right to identity can be contravened when they're in alternative care. <laughs>